G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy. Um, today's video, I am just gonna give you a bit of an update as to how my life's going. As you recall, a couple of months ago, I told you guys I was moving to the UK um, and basically packing up my life and starting a new one over here. And uh, you know, if you've been following the channel over the last couple of months, my location has varied so much. I was in America last month, I just spent the last week in Greece. Um, now I'm in Macclesfield, but just to be less cryptic about all that, um, just so you know, I have arrived safely and I'm established here now in uh, Macclesfield in England. Now, I think I kind of covered the reasons for why I left Perth in that video at the time, or at least just gave you a brief insight. Basically, I was just feeling very jaded in Australia, leaving the same day over and over again. I had a job that I liked, my entire social life with my family, who I love very much, but I was pretty miserable, to be honest. Um, it wasn't a great last couple of years for me. So I made the decision about six months ago to, to relocate to the UK permanently, and here I am, uh, a couple of weeks into living here full time. Uh, so today's video is just to update you on you know what it is I've been doing and potentially what's coming up next. So I left Australia on the 10th of April, Easter Monday, and I flew to America initially because I have a sister there. She married a Canadian guy, moved over there uh, about a year ago. Before that, she lived in Dubai. So I haven't actually lived in the same city as my sister since about 2004. So, uh, you know, the logic was I am really going to get such a good opportunity without a job now to travel and just stay for an, in America for as long as I wanted. So I took that opportunity and I stayed there for a full month. And, uh, you know, I was hanging out with the kids throughout the day. And then when the kids would go to school or uh, preschool, in the morning, I would be in the basement or I'd be outside making YouTube videos. Then at like 12 o'clock each day, we'd go and pick them up, um, short school days. I would switch into uncle mode and uh, it was Uncle Jesse for the rest of each day. And then each night when the kids went to bed, um, the red wine came out. So I reckon out of the last, what, 40 days I've been away from Australia, I reckon I have had alcohol on 37 or 38 of those days, which is very out of character for me. No, not really a big drinker, but it's just been one big holiday as you can imagine. So spent a month in America, we did a New York weekend. Um, that was my first trip to the States. It was fantastic, pissed down with rain all weekend in New York. It was very, very unlucky. Uh, I didn't think about what I was wearing, uh, didn't take an umbrella and uh, also wore like these suede boots um, for the entire weekend and my socks were just stankin' wet. Um, the entire weekend as well. But once you're used to it, you know, you just kind of get used to being like a bit miserable in your in your wet socks. And yeah, I was literally shivering throughout the day, but I still had an amazing weekend. Uh, we went to Broadway, we went to this karaoke bar um, where they were playing piano and you, you go and sing. I had the time of my life. It was a fantastic trip. Um, funnily enough, I think I developed some sort of either shin splints or stress fracture related thing in my ankle from walking around the like the New York pavement um, for like all day for three days in a row. Um, yeah, my ankle was fucked for a, a good couple of weeks there, which makes me think it wasn't a stress fracture, but it bloody hurt. So did my month in America and I flew into Manchester probably like two weeks ago um, to officially you know, move here. Moved in with Will, he's my best friend from Abu Dhabi, which is where I grew up. I'm realizing as I tell you this, I don't know how much you guys know about me, but I went to school in the Middle East and Will was my best friend. So I've got some mates here in the UK, which is a big reason for me coming over here. Um, Drewsy's one of them, obviously. Is that the ice cream man? Anyway, did Manchester for a weekend, caught up some, with some friends from Perth, ironically. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you may remember my roommate, Dylan. He has also moved to London, coincidentally. Caught up with him there. And then uh, on the Monday, flew to Greece for a week, and that was just unbelievable. So it's my first time to uh, Greece, and uh, we went straight to the island of Crete, if you know what that is. It's, I'll put up some pictures as I'm talking as well, but basically some of the most pristine beaches I've ever seen. We hired a car, I drove on the opposite side of the road, um, you know, for four days there, which is a little bit daunting, but Crete's kind of funny. It's like this little island. It's just two lanes, you know, the whole way around. Um, the rules are different. They're two narrow lanes, but people are constantly parked along the side. So you're constantly moving into the wrong lane to go around. And I, I actually felt like I was in this little compound, this little fake city and driving a little go-kart. It was weird. So yeah, each day was basically, um, you know, getting in the car and driving to the next amazing beach for that day, getting incredibly sunburnt. Um, I wasn't drinking throughout the day, which I think is great, obviously, because I was driving. But the interesting thing about Greece, uh, which I think is fairly uh, custom there, is that if you have a meal, even if you have lunch and you get like a club sandwich, right, 
at the end of the meal, they bring you like this little bottle, probably like probably half the capacity of that of some sort of alcohol and, and two shot glasses. That's just normal, you don't pay for it. Obviously being the driver, I didn't get to enjoy any of that, but weird. But yeah, Greece is a great place. Like I think because it relies so much on tourism, they're extremely friendly to tourists there. Um, so I had a wonderful time. I did make the observation that uh, I went with my, with my friend Pisham, also from Abu Dhabi, um, and he's Pakistani originally, right? So we don't look anything alike, but Greece may be the only country where we could walk in and the waiter starts speaking to us in Greek because he assumes we're both Greek. I thought that was really funny. So yeah, got back from Greece uh, what, like three days ago um, and now I've returned to Macclesfield. So I, while I've officially lived here for like two weeks, I've actually spent about seven days here um, and I love this town. So why Macclesfield, that's where my mate Will lives and I'm currently living in his apartment with him, um, you know, flicking him some rent for the weeks I'm here and then uh, I've got some big travel plans coming up over the next few months as well. So throughout the day, what my day looks like right now is I'll wake up, I'll walk to Greg's. By the way, Greg's fucking slaps is probably one of my favorite things about the UK. I go there pretty much every morning I've been here for the same order, a coffee and then the two little like steak pies and they're just delicious. And then I, I'm, I'm not looking forward to the point in time where they recognize me in my order because I feel like that's a little bit embarrassing. But while Macclesfield's like a, a small town, it's got like 50,000 people, Will's apartment is literally like 200 meters from the center of town, which is incredibly convenient because I'm not driving a car here um, because I don't have to, but it's also dangerous. So the weird thing about Macclesfield, which I love, right, is the nightlife. There's no nightclub. I think there was a nightclub here about 12 months ago and it got shut down. There was probably some sort of stabbing. I don't know. There's this place called Duke's Court in the middle of town, right, that is open to 3 a.m. every single night of the week, which is dangerous. So as I'm recording this, I'm incredibly hungover because I was there till closing time last night on a Wednesday night. It is so easy to just get bored at about 8 o'clock and, and go, pub and you know when i say it's open to 3 a.m i mean the place is heaving until 3 a.m there's a dj it's playing house music it's literally till 3 a.m and to the point where people are disappointed when it when it's closing time the thing i love about that though is that despite being a small intimate town there's a lot of life in it there's a lot happening in the middle of macclesfield i've made so many i wouldn't call them friends but every night i've been here i've gotten a little bit of dutch courage and i just started talking to random people one of the first people i met was this extremely drunk uh, guy probably in his 50s dancing by himself a uh, very strange man <laughs> but um you know i i felt like I was in a bit of a cocky mood and I went up to him and we started yarning. It turns out he'd lived in Perth for 23 years. There was another night where we were at another pub till closing time and uh, we sat around like six strangers and you know, the demographics of that group were so mixed. There was me and Will who were 29. Uh, there was a 45 year old dude, a couple of girls in their 30s, probably one in their 50s and then one lady that was probably pushing 70 and we were just sitting around chatting shit and that's something that I love and value about this place already. I don't know if I'll get bored of it, but at the moment, I love the idea of just going to the pub, making a new friend, forgetting their name, and naturally being an Australian, like, it's a bit of an icebreaker because people are like, why the hell have you moved to Macclesfield from Perth? And I think people here don't realize how beautiful this place is. And don't get me wrong, there's some rough elements. There is definitely this weird undercurrent of, um, of like gang related stuff that's happening here. I walked into uh, one of the late night bars, like bathroom and I walked in and bear in mind, this is on a Monday night, straight after the plane from Greece, we went to the pub because we're idiots. And um, I won't say explicitly what was happening in that bathroom, but you can imagine if you've spent a bit of time um, going out in bathrooms, you can imagine the sort of activities that take place in a bathroom, if you know what I mean. So walked into this scene of, you know, four or five rough looking dudes all doing that. And they all looked up at me and I literally heard one of them go, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> I was just trying to use the bathroom. So I, I was standing there at the urinal and I could feel their eyes on me. And then I could hear one of them talking to the other. And it was something along the lines of, I'm not even gonna do the accent, but it was something along the lines of like, we had to work fucking hard to make a name for ourselves in this town. And now people know not the fuck with us because they're gonna get cheap or something like that. And I was just simultaneously urinating and trying to make myself invisible. I hope my dad's not watching this and thinks I'm gonna get stabbed, but uh, yeah, weird place. Who, who doesn't like a little bit of risk? But uh, I am loving it here. And uh, I don't know if other people coming to this part of the world would see the same value in it as I do. I probably wouldn't recommend anyone, you know, move to Macclesfield specifically. I think there's something so beautiful about that small town vibe um, where you can go up and then eventually I'll just start, you know, knowing the regulars and the people my age and people who are 20 and people who are 40 and uh, just go and have pints. It's, it's a great feeling. And yes, you know, I could have done that in Perth. I could have gone to the Cardinia Tavern 
uh, which I did once or twice. First of all, you gotta drive there, which is a pain in the ass. And secondly, the demographic's different. They're all kind of guys, middle-aged, that uh, just sort of, I don't even know what they're doing. Most of the time, it's just like betting on the horse racing that's on TV. There's nowhere near the same level of culture. And it is a drinking culture, and it is a bit bad for me. But at this very specific time of my life, I'm loving it. So what's next? Um, you know, I think uh, I'm doing a Kentucky in June, um, doing seven countries in 11 days, rolling straight into a trip with my mate to Portugal, the same mate I went to with Greece. Uh, I think not long after that, we're doing Amsterdam as well, which is, you know, one of the reasons that I wanted to come to England is because you can just go for a long weekend to Amsterdam. Then in August, I'm going back to Canada because uh, my sister, Summer's there because her husband's Canadian and they've kindly offered to put me up for a week. So my life is just going to be two weeks here, two weeks there, two weeks here. Um, and I am trying my best to upload videos. I think I've been fairly consistent. Obviously, the, the, the channel itself is not going so great right now. And I've got a couple of theories why, but the effort's there. I am making this video today. Uh, you know, I had like what, four videos in the week I went to Greece. I do wonder if uh, the content's getting stale for you guys. And so I'm I've got some ideas of, uh, of better content, but for whatever reason, not thriving so much on YouTube, but I feel relaxed and uh, very, very happy with where I am at the moment. And I think the beautiful thing about being on holiday, it's not really a holiday, but it kind of feels like one is this um, sense of being very present and in the moment. I don't feel stressed, you know, not anxious at all, even though there's so much uncertainty. Um, after this summer, what happens? I don't know, because at the moment, um, the YouTube is not paying enough to sustain this lifestyle indefinitely. So eventually I'm gonna have to get a proper job. The party will have to end. And I don't know where that's gonna be yet. Uh, it could be Manchester, it could be London. Um, I doubt it will be Australia, to be honest. And it's not that it, I, I don't like Australia. My family's there and I do absolutely intend to come back, but just not right now. It's a bit of a dead place for me. And it's probably just me specifically, my social circles had come to an end. It was just an end of a chapter. And it took me a long time to realize it. But I always wanted to do a year abroad. My dad, when, uh, when he was like 25, went to Jersey, not the American Jersey. I mean, like the literal uh, British dependency, which is like this little island off the coast of France. He lived there for a year. I always wanted to do it. I'm 29 and this was the last year I could do it for from a visa point of view. So, so this is me doing that. Um, I had a sobering thought or realization, I think it might've been a year or two ago, where as a 29 year old, thinking back to when you're a kid and thinking about the man that you're gonna become and you have all these ideas of what your life's gonna look like. And, and then the realization hits, I'm 29. I am that now, that future version of myself that I pictured as a kid. And what would the kid think about what I'm doing now? Up until this trip, I don't think that kid would have been very impressed with our life, but I think that is starting to shift. You know, I've had a couple of comments, um, really nice comments from people commenting on my recent videos and just saying that I seem happier than I have in years. And I was fascinated by that because I don't feel like it comes across in the content. I thought it was a pretty stock standard video, but you're very perceptive and uh, I appreciate that. That's quite sweet of people to notice that. Somebody also said uh, they haven't seen me like this since uh, we did Drew Footy yeah, back in 2021, which, you know, that timeline makes sense. So I appreciate you. I'm doing great, honestly. How am I going to be doing in three months? I don't know. But at the moment, I'm just thinking day by day, what am I going to do tonight? I'm going to hit the gym. I'm going to wait for this god awful hangover to go. And I think I'm going to Liverpool this weekend, which is uh, fun. It's not too far from here. So anyway, guys, that was me just rambling on about my life at the moment, if you're interested. Again, appreciate all the nice comments. Um, I hope you're still enjoying the content. And some feedback for you would be great of, uh, of what... Maybe I'm doing wrong in terms of uh, the YouTube performance and stuff at the moment, but either way, I'm all good. Hope you're all doing well. The Eagles suck. Good time to be in England. I'm still really into the Eagles right now, but we'll talk about that another time. Appreciate you watching, guys. Again, hope you're doing well, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.